Hey guys, Blue Watcher here, and today we're gonna be constructing um, a farm, and it's gonna be a trader farm. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty good. Now I already have one, but I just wanted to um, kind of get which one is better. Now the one I already built is uh, based on Silent Whispers design. So yeah, you can go check them out. Uh, link to his channel is gonna be in the description, but this farm is gonna be a bit different. I just want to see which one is better. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna point to both tutorials down in the description as I said. And if today I sound a bit um, more fresh, a bit more um, enjoyable of the life to say the least. Um, that's because it's the weekend and uh, yeah. I can do whatever I like, I can do whatever I want, basically that's that, and uh, yeah, that's why we need a turtle eggs by the way, yeah, I, I spent an hour for that, yep, that, that was very fun, anyways, um, this design is nice I guess, now I could have designed my own, but I was too lazy, and I did not hit a lot of cobblestone. To be honest, I should have just used the other one, but I just want to try them both. And yeah, and I ended up with a lot of tridents. It was great, and uh, that was pretty enjoyable. I almost did not suffer at all doing that, which was kind of amusing. Not gonna lie, it was a pretty good thing. And yeah, overall what I'm gonna be doing from now on, I'm gonna be I'm starting a project that I'm gonna be I'm collecting a lot of resources so I can do building in the future because right now the most I do is AFK and just build farms but when I'm done I'm gonna be starting building and yeah that's gonna be pretty enjoyable now Right to the point, why do we need tridents? Well, a big um, reason for needing trident is um, trident killers. That's basically an automatic trident farm that kills mobs. Like not trident farm, but it uses trident to kill them. And you can even, um, not only do you get drops like you get from the sword. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, when you don't kill mobs by sword, you kill them by cacti, lava, or whatever. Some mobs would not um, drop some specific things. Um, for example, uh, wither skeletons, you need to kill them yourself, otherwise they are not gonna drop their skull. But if you use tridents, they would. Now what about hooting though? If you're holding hooting tree, it's gonna apply on the trident, so that's a big pogger. Just imagine setting up a 5 or 6 in a single area. Yeah, that's gonna be amazing. And yeah, that's the only use I have for the tridents at the moment. Uh, my build of camera, um, some stuff I made. The zombie spawner trident killer is because. Oh, yeah. Did I mention that you can still collect the XP from the Trident Killer? Yeah, that makes um, it pretty easy to fix not only tools, but now you can fix mending tools to give uh, mending out silk touch tools and you can fix them that way. Yeah, that's crazy. Now, why does it work? Well, we're just moving the Trident and it's gonna kill the mobs. Yeah, that's, that's a big, big, big thing for us. That it allows to become pretty much, how to say it, pretty much automatic more wise. And any big plans with that? For more being not yet, for the foreseeable future? Oh, you don't even know. You don't even know. Oh, now, what we're gonna be doing, it's gonna be a madness. It's gonna be more than madness, to be honest with you guys. 
it's gonna be clear. I don't know. I cannot even express you what it's gonna be. Like, how do I explain the unexplainable? Well, anywho, it's gonna be great. <laughs> We're gonna make, um, what, how to put it simply? We're gonna make a bunch of farm, farms in a single area. And the Trident allows to make more of those farms automated. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty great. It's gonna be amazing to say the least. So that's why we need Tridents. Oh, by the way, at that point, um, I just killed this pleasure uh, with the banner and it gave me the bad omen. And I'm pretty sure when I got back that triggered a raid, but then I got away and it stopped, but then it got triggered again and that essentially broke the iron farm. But don't worry, I just uh, fixed it. I just had to, I don't know, unglitch the AI of the villager somehow. Either by trading or by um, breeding them, so that's what I did. I did both, by the way, just to make sure. And yeah, in the end, now I'm back to getting some iron from that farm. Yeah, that's the moment of truth. Let's see how the farm works. Are we gonna get any drones? And. Come on, come on, finally, finally some drones, the farm works, nice, here we go, two minutes later, and I'm gonna try it on, pog, nice, nice, now I have catered both farms for five minutes just to make uh, sure that they get like the same not five minutes, a whole Minecraft night. Just make sure that I gave them both an equal start. Now, things you need to know about the drown mob. Well, let's start with um, that it in Bedrock it can spawn only five drowns per area. AKA, you get five drowns at a time, you cannot get more. That's why you want to send them to the nether. If you want to AFK, and yeah, that's what I did. I I um, portal linked both farms to the same portal, so it sent them the drones to the same place. But the farms were spread equally, like good amount of space, so they are not gonna work both at the same time. So we can collect drops and yeah, so. First night for the farm that we just built, a gold, um, six nautilus shells, a trident, and 75 foot of rotten flesh. Not too shabby, not too shabby, couple of nights should be pretty much enough. And let's see how the other farm works. We are just finishing the night over here and time to check it out. Now once again, as I said, both farm, farm designs are gonna be in the description. Um, the second just, I think should have been easier, but it took longer. It was uh, less productive to say the least. And in the end we got, ah, it was, it was a close. One, it, 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 yeah, it was a close um, battle of, like, both could have won if the one just worked a little bit less, yeah, it was close. Um, any, anything interesting that you should know, um, drones that spawn naturally will only drop the tridents. If you convert um, zombies to drones, they're not gonna drop any tridents, but they will still drop not all the shells and um, the gold. So yeah, that that should be well known. And yeah, thank you for watching. I really appreciate that. And if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe if you want. 
it's free and uh, you can always change your mind like if you like what you're seeing just do it and if you don't for some reason like it anymore you can always unsubscribe so yeah make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell see you in the